Hey guys and welcome back to new video on this channel, I'm Sabi from Code Evolution. So because many of you guys ask this question, I will explain what is the difference between model fine tuning or model training and embedding. So these two uh, serve a similar purpose. So both will teach the AI some stuff about you, your business or your product. So it will be able to reply to customers or to write content using the newly, uh, newly found information. So the main difference between these two in a nutshell is that the model fine tuning is actually retraining with new data the AI while the embedding is only adding a, a bit of context to the question that you are making, that you are asking the AI, so it will be able to respond in a more precise way. So let me give you a precise example of this. So let us say that we want to teach the AI that Code Evolution has WordPress plugins about uh, and they are focused on auto blogging. So for this, I have two options. I create a large data set in the model training and by large, I mean maybe tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of data lines like this in a prompt competition pair. And I write here that Code Revolution is a WordPress plugin development company so the prompt is what is code revolution and the uh, completion is the answer for the prompt. So code revolution is a WordPress plugin developer company. What products uh, does code revolution have? And uh, the completion is it has many WordPress plugins. They have many WordPress plugins, including Newsomatic, AIOmatic and so on. And so on until we have many, many, many lines of this um, training data and this will be sent actually to OpenAI and they will run this data on the model, on the AI model and the AI model will learn this information that you send uh, to it. So based on this, it will be able to add the a data to its knowledge and it will be able to respond in a natural way to customers or users who ask about code evolution, for example. So this is a very complex and I recommend that you use fine tuning or training only if you have a large data set at hand or if you can create a large data set. Because if you create three, four lines, it will be insignificant because the models from OpenAI were trained on huge datasets from the entire internet. And because of this, if you enter only two or three lines of data, it will not be enough weight to change the huge weight of data which comes from the internet. And yeah, because of this, it will not function. So if you have large sets of data or if you want to create large sets of data and train a fine-tuned model based on it, I recommend you use fine-tuning or training. Otherwise, if you have only tens or hundreds of lines of data that you wish to add to the AI content creator, then you can use embedding. So embeddings virtually work in a way different from fine-tuning. So here you will not teach the AI anything directly. However, you will submit many similar pairs of... <coughs> so it, here it's not pairs, but you can also submit questions and answers in a, in a format like this. So question, who created good revolution? and answer is sub so yeah and so on so you can make a question or answer or simply write code revolution is a wordpress plugin developer 
company. So you can also write statements here and simply click save. And this will make the plugin <coughs> add an embedding here. And when people will ask a question which contains the Revolution Word or WordPress plugin developer word in the sentence or the sentence's meaning is similar to this. So if somebody asks who is the, do you know any WordPress plugin developer companies, then the embeddings from OpenAI will return this little text that we added here. And this little text will be appended or prepended to the prompt that the user sends. So for example, the user asks, do you know any WordPress plugin developer companies? And this should be sent to AI. However, if you enable embedding, the text that the user sent is not sent directly to the AI. However, it is sent through the embeddings node, which um, filters any embedding text that you added here which is similar to the question of the user. So if you have here, Code Revolution is a WordPress plugin developer company and the user asks, do you know any WordPress developer companies? Then this embedding text will be returned and the AIMatic plugin will append this little text to the question of the user. So it will look like something that mm, Actually, the AI will get this information. So Code Revolution is a WordPress plugin developer company. And on a new line, do you know any WordPress plugin developer companies? And the AI naturally, because it got the information directly in the prompt, will return that Code Revolution is a WordPress plugin developer company. So this is the main difference as the model training will actually inject the data into the model that you will be creating because you will create a new fine-tuned model and in the embeddings you will use a standard model and only add some data which is related to the question of the user directly in the prompt and based on also AI technology as the embeddings are selected based on this AI technology from OpenAI as they make this uh, <coughs> selection of similar stuff which was asked and they will return the embeddings for you. So I hope this uh, explanation was clear that um, embeddings will not create new models and not inject data into the models but only will try to teach the model by adding to the prompts one of these embeddings that you add in the plugin settings, which is similar to the original question of the user or the original prompt, which we send to the AI, and it will uh, prepend this to the original prompt. So the AI will have some additional context and information of the uh, company or user or and products or anything else using these embeddings. So if you have additional questions or you want to know something more about Aomatic, let me know in the comments of this video. I hope I managed to explain what is the main difference between embeddings and model training. And uh, one more thing I need to mention that embeddings work together with model training. So you can train your own model and you can fine tune a model using, as I said, large sets of data, which need to be also high quality. And you can use also embeddings on that fine-tuned data as uh, also fine-tuned model as the embeddings will add to the prompt and it will work with any model, also current or future models from OpenAI. So yeah, this is the main feature of the plugin so it can train models for you or it can embed context to the prompts which is related to the original question or prompt which the user created. 
Okay, so thanks for watching this video until then. If you have uh, questions, let me know in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. It's really appreciated. Until next time, bye-bye.